Danny Polischak yep. went back to his roots and he's causing trouble. So people don't we know We talked this. about this briefly last week. No, the, what the you said last week is you posted my, this tweet and your chick girl, yeah, was, was got mad at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we didn't talk about is it caused quite the stir on the internet. Yes. And I don't think, yeah, people don't realize, I've mentioned it, but Danny was, you know, Dennis the Menace when we um, were in Toronto. Oh, yeah. Now you see him and you go, oh, you know, gay Jew. You know, <laughs> he doesn't cause much trouble, sort of sticks to himself. He's worried about finance. Worried about finance. What they don't realize is you were persona non grata in Toronto a for a minute. Bit of a rabble rouser. Yeah. Well, he was the original guy that everyone said he's transphobic mm -hmm. because he wouldn't cut off his dick. Yep. And then you did the free speech show and Antifa was protesting Danny. Yeah, the Rob Ford movie. Comics I were denouncing him. Then right. he did this big movie and, and Doug Ford was saying the, the, the basically the premier of Ontario was posting that he would run Danny over. Yep. So he's a, he there, was ain't, a, there ain't a car big enough, pal. He's a big rabble rouser before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and now the cuties, the cuties shirt. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit back to your roots. Yeah. yeah, that was a good one. But now, Danny. So what he posted was, uh, I'll, I'll, well, uh, you read. I'll read your tweet. Yeah, read, read the tweet. Gabby Petito reached one million on Instagram. There are a lot of influencers who could learn a thing or two. So. Honestly, I think a pretty benign tweet, to be honest. It's more like I'm joking about influencers than her. Well, you found yourself <laughs> in the center of a feminist Reddit group, mm -hmm. and he's the center of controversy. <laughs> so the con comments on this, and people were screenshotting it and posting it in Reddit groups, being like, can you believe this motherfucker? Yeah. Also, Danny's feet were on Wiki Feet, which That's is hilarious. That's the best fucking. I and they got a today. two out of ten. Two out of five? <laughs> no, a four out of ten. Ryan, they don't fucking. Don't Dan, touch someone put they put Danny's feet on Wiki Feet. Wiki he, Feet man. Because he always insists on being a grown man who wears sandals, which <laughs> I don't condone of personally. They're Croc sandals. Too. I'm not. A, yeah, I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of the I grown man walking around in sandals. I, I think he puts shoes nah, on. I if you're mean, at the beach, yeah, you're at the beach, you're at the. But you're also a pants always guy too. Yeah, an adult man. Right. Danny's on fucking stage. His feet are out. No, I've never worn sandals on fucking stage, ever. <laughs> so the fucking... I'm going to give Danny a chance to respond, but this is what they said in the feminist reddits. They yeah. go, I'm, wor I'm wary of men who make dark jokes or dark humor. Uh, like, tell me you're a sociopath without telling me you're a sociopath, which I walked in on you torturing cats. So. Yeah, I mean, and then that's, said, that's the progression. They go, this is, they're, they're doing an impression of you at this point. They say, oh, yeah, it's dark humor girls don't get. I'm sure this dark humor uh, gets men crying every time when someone jokes about their ugly penis. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! In the scope. <laughs> Do you, so I'm going to give you a chance to defend yourself. Do you cry when girls make fun of your ugly yes, penis? Yes, every single time. I go, ah. It's not that ugly. It's a two out of five. <laughs> You're ugly penis. This it's got like a bunch of upvotes, dude. I know. We're like, he probably fucking does cry. By the way, it's what's the Reddit, the subreddit called? I can't remember. It's a uh, female dating strategy. Okay. R slash which is basically female incels. Check it out. It's, yeah, it's solid. It's solid. There you go. I don't have Twitter, so I can't report it there. But the replies make me scared to go outside. So you caught a break there. <laughs> That's the best because you're like, this just, it hurts all people, like all women. When you go like, I'm literally like, this joke makes me fear for my life. <laughs> that you said that influencers could learn from Captain Petito. <laughs> and like, the, literally like the joke is you go, yeah, they can learn because you're like, what are they supposed to do? Get murdered by their boyfriend? Yeah. Like the thing is obviously <laughs> absurd. I'm not like sick she got murdered. And the joke is about like influencers doing anything to be famous. Well, you caught a break because she was going to report you. But yeah, she was going to report me to the authorities. She goes, tell me you're an abusive rapist without telling me you're an abusive rapist. So they like that format. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, they like that format. <laughs> they like the tell me you're something without telling me you're something. <laughs> That's a big format for these guys. So I'm going to let you respond again. Do you can? Are you an abusive? Am I an rapist? abusive rapist? I am not an abusive <laughs> rapist. <laughs> and they said, "Yeah, these are not jokes. This is actually how men like this feel deep inside." <laughs> but like, feel like what? I would love to sit down and go. How feel? What do I feel? Well, that you want women to die. <laughs> so you watch. You watch influencers. Like, I'd love to see her fucking dead six feet under. Well, that was that one woman. I want to wear her skin. That was that one woman actually uh, tweeted about it. Where her thing on. Twitter was uh, like humorless feminist was her like handle. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Her. And then she, and I was like, this has got to be a setup. It's but not. she goes, she goes, wait. So what do you want? You just want like women to be killed by their boyfriends? Is that what I'm reading here? And you're like, 
Well, that's yes, one, that's yeah. One person asked you a question again. So if you, if they're if they're what listening was the question? here, uh, are you telling influencers to go die then? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is what I am actually saying to do. Yes. For the people who are fucking like have wow. no discernible You're talent. You're fucking so lucky she didn't have a Twitter, dude. For the people who have no discernible talent who are hawking like skinny tees and just all sorts of different scams and cryptocurrencies, I'm fine with those people going to die. Yes, correct. And then another person says that um, this is a red flag for pathological misogyny, that joke that you just made. Um, You're pathological. pathological. You can't stop. You can't stop. You should fucking be in the kitchen. You're Even when you you're just having dinner with your girl you, you know you making the dinner and you just be like you should have fucking made this you're a, i'm sorry i'm pathological <laughs> just so misogynist every yeah you're you're when you order food and there's like a woman and you're like shouldn't you be at home raising kids <laughs> she's like would you like fries with that it's like would you like a fucking real life <laughs> would you <laughs> you're a fucking woman in the workplace i don't approve of that i'm danny Polishuk. Yeah. let me show you my path so yeah, they, they, they call me a lot of things too: a psychopath, a sociopath, a pathological misogynist. Yeah, a lot of, I'm a lot of things. <laughs> ah, you're people. in the scope with these people.